Hi and welcome to another Photoshop manipulation video and for this week guys what we're doing is focusing on Mortal Kombat. Now I was having a little look online just for some ideas, not in particular for Mortal Kombat, but just looking for some inspiration to actually make some images and I come across this brilliant model pose. Now obviously Mortal Kombat is probably more iconic for the actual games rather than the films. I personally not really too fussed on the films whatsoever but the games were absolutely brilliant and one of my main characters i absolutely love to play with that was scorpion because obviously check the chain out and it was get over here and then you could pull the guy in and obviously finish him off it was absolutely brilliant so with more combat so obviously i come across this image and i thought well, we're going to go and create something for uh, or based around this particular person who's dressed up very very well i must say because a lot of the normal cosplays that you actually see for things like this they're pretty cheesy and they don't really work but this one i will say is pretty good going so obviously for this one we're going to have mortal kombat like i say with scorpion obviously scorpion is going to be a female this particular time around which i do not mind whatsoever because i will say for a lot of the images that i actually make i tend to put women in the actual images i don't know why but i just think women look a lot better but i'm going to just turn all these particular layers off and we're just going to go through how i want to actually go about creating this particular image now i will say as we've got this volcano that is in the background i just basically was just trying to find some different ideas now the volcano was actually like the last thing that i come up with it just like the background behind the actual castle just didn't look right and i wanted like a sky i was thinking about having a moon and that lot and it just it wasn't flowing quite right so i ended up going with the volcano now this basically was just an uh, image that I found out on the line, so it's just placed into the background. Now also one thing I will say though, like my previous videos as well, is that you'll notice that everything's painted. I, I like to paint everything afterwards and stuff like that. I, I quite like the paint effect in that lot, uh, putting it all together and stuff like that. I, I just it's just a kind of vibe that I actually like to roll with. So you'll notice that, like say that on the right hand side of this volcano here is painted, and then obviously. On the left hand side is not really that much painted so obviously just keep that in mind as we go through the actual images they are actually painted on towards the end so basically with the volcano i just basically just chucked it in the background and then just added some color balance so that actually pretty much matched so very 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 simple in regards to actually going about creating that one now we move on to the castle now the castle as i was looking around i found this particular castle here so this one i with the Mortal Kombat and stuff like that, when I was looking for some inspiration online, there was a lot of like fire, there was some like temples in the background and stuff like that. And as I was looking for some temples and stuff, a lot of them, it looked a bit cheesy and I, I don't know, it just didn't really seem to flow too well for me. So I found this particular image of this castle and I felt that this was going to work quite well so i decided to go along this side instead of actually going with the temples and stuff now for this one obviously as you'll see like obviously we changed the exposure there color balance obviously as you can see it's got a lot of red in it and i wanted to make it a lot more blue now that's mainly to match the lava that is on the uh, on the image that we'll be bringing up in a minute now in regards to the hue and saturation as you can see this is just like uh as you'll notice it in the middle here uh, a lot of it's just shining in the middle of nowhere. That's just because of where the person is. That's all that is. Right. So basically, it was very much simply to done. So basically, I just placed the image onto onto this, and it's pretty much done. Apart from cu obviously cutting out the sky, it was pretty much very much easy to do. It took just like a handful of seconds to actually do that one. Right. Moving on to the lava now. I will apologize as I'm going through this video actually because I'm just getting over COVID and my brain's not quite with it. So I do apologize if I keep repeating myself and that lot. Just pff, brain is not with it at all. Right, anyway, so, okay. So basically we've got this lava one here. Uh, and this is the lava image that I actually found. Now I did pretty much chop and change between a few different lava images to try and see which one worked the best. And this one was by far the, the, the best one because basically... What I wanted was uh, to start off with, I wanted like the castle and that lot. And then I wanted some lava and that lot to flow down and through just to, you know, to really have a light source for the actual image and also to make it as dramatic as I possibly could. So for this one, obviously, as you can see, it's just a slight color balances just to change certain areas. Because one thing I found here on the left hand side, it didn't quite match the rocks for the castle is what it did for on the right hand side. It's, 
two different things really so I, I changed pretty much the color balance for both of them just to get it so it's looking right then obviously as you can see basically it's just gone straight through the center here just so that we can think and obviously i just placed it onto the rock as you can see like that it's pretty pretty straightforward nothing really too crazy or anything else like that for that one to be done uh, obviously that one was painted as well uh let's move on to scorpion right obviously now with this lady here as well i've actually painted her as well i wanted like that the nice painted effect as well to go with it so for her basically what we've done is hand painted her to make sure that i got it exactly how i wanted to do it sometimes you don't need to hand paint him but for this one i felt that i wanted to uh so obviously one of the main ones is just putting some exposure on obviously you'll notice that on the on the actual white here as you can see, I've taken some of it away just for these particular highlights uh, that are going down to the left-hand side of the body and the right-hand side of the body as well. And then we also have some levels as well, just to make those little changes. And then, obviously, as you can see, with the hue and saturation, basically, we've just got some highlights. Now, I know a lot of people like to really, really over-exaggerate the highlights and stuff like that. I don't tend to put too much highlights onto my particular subjects. And if I do, I try to keep it to a minimum kind of make it a bit more realistic i understand everyone goes for the cartoon kind of feel I, I i don't i really just can't get with it whatsoever i actually quite like the way that some people make those images i just don't think that they suit the kind of things that i like to make so as you can see with this one it's just basically just some basic highlights just to go around these certain areas up here onto the hands and stuff like that because obviously we've got the light source coming from the lava here and obviously we've got the lava spewing out at the top here as well so basically that was it for her really it wasn't really anything too crazy apart from like obviously painting her up in that lot as well uh that was like the, the longest part of this and then basically just cutting her out and just making those particular corrections then we're moving on to the actual the chain and uh, that lot now this is the only thing that took me a little while to actually find something that actually really worked and it was a right pain in the butt to actually find a particular chain so as we see as we see here now we got this is the chain here so i just use this one chain here and obviously it's not real and doesn't look real but once everything's painted obviously then it all matches and that all so it's pretty much straightforward so for the first part i just placed it down here so if we just zoom in quickly here what we've got is we've got some highlights in that lot onto the top of the chain as well uh, but as you'll notice is what i've done is i placed it so that the chain goes in between her hand and the back of her leg there so the idea is then it is basically just rushing up around the back of her here and going up behind her back and obviously over the top of the arm there as well so for that one it's pretty much straightforward i just basically just put that one on there the only one that i really had to make some changes with is this top chain here uh basically with these ones as well uh obviously i've done the exposure because it's obviously a lot brighter changed the color balance as well and also added some highlights to uh, obviously to the sh uh where the light source is coming from and reflecting off of the chain itself now for this one i did have to use the warp and that lot just to try and get it so that is actually right and as you can see so what we've done is we've got it so that the chain is going through a hand so what we got here so obviously, as you can see through the middle here, we got this little um, this little entry point or exit point sort of thing like that. I thought that was a perfect place for the dagger to be going through. So it so looks like so she's actually throwing it forward. So that's the kind of vibe that I was actually going for. So as you can see, chain comes through the hand here. We've got it there. So we've warped it. So it goes around the back of a body there. And it comes. So basically, it's going to be coming down here and it's going to be coming out the bottom of where her legs are and that lot just so have that nice little flow and obviously like i say all it was an exposure color balance and some hue and saturation pretty much done and then we have the beautiful dagger as well now this one was another one that took me a little while as well just to try and find one that would actually work it was so frustrating what's uh, so I come across this particular one here. Obviously, as you can see, we've got this center bit here where it says quieto or whatever it says. Uh, for that one there, I basically, obviously, I want to get rid of that because it just did not look very nice at all. It just didn't suit. So we made it so that the actual chain is going through the actual um, dagger there. Obviously, this is all blurred as well because we obviously want a bit of motion blur because she's throwing it through the air really really fast and that lot as well so we want to put some motion blur onto the dagger and to the top of the chain as well as you can see basically just cut it out uh with this one i just use it um basically just uh transformed it use the control on that lot just to try and 
change the perspective to try and get it so it fitted onto the, the chain. So this was pretty much the only dagger that I could find that I could actually really, really work with. So obviously, as you can see, the chain's coming through here and then it goes, throws the dagger straight on the way out here as well. And then in regards to that, that was pretty much it. So it's pretty much straightforward, like I say, very, very simple to do with the castle. You just basically, all I did was basically for the castle i just basically just cut it out of the sky put the volcano behind it and then obviously with the lava the lava is just placed onto here and it's very simple with the lava really uh, as you can see we just basically placed it on there like i just showed you before so that's it. all basically did not take a great deal of time now i said the hardest part about it was one is trying to find the images uh which were a pain in the butt to say the least and then also uh the painting afterwards just to give it to this uh nice uh painting effect that i absolutely love then all i did then was moving on to the curves i just want to put some red into the picture obviously because we've got a lot of lava and stuff and then moving on to camera raw which pretty much brings everything to life as we know and this is how she come about here we go okay so basically so basically i just want to put the temperature up as you can see there you go just to warm the up the image contrast some highlights some sh little bit of shadows a little bit of blacks uh, i do love texture in my images and then with a bit of clarity and then some vibrance as well and then all i've done with them for the shadows and the highlights basically is to just put some orange obviously because of the lava and voila that is the finished article so i will say that i'm quite happy actually the way it turned out it was a little bit of a pain like i say in regards to trying to find the images but putting it together was pretty simple really for this kind of image really it wasn't too bad at all uh but i hope you enjoyed this video i do apologize uh in regards to my brain not working too well it's just like i say it's getting over covid but i really wanted to get some uh videos back out again because i haven't done any for about three weeks i think it is now so, got this work done anyway. I've uh, got plenty more. Got loads of other images. I will be bringing out at least one a week uh, from now on. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I shall be back, like I say, next week. And 